to promote IG, to promote, to promote IG. To promote, to promote IG. We're at Police Barracks School and we've been working here um, for over a year. We started with a pilot project where we put temporary um, toilets in. We put a temporary structure and we introduced compost toilets to a team of the Student Wash Club. And after a formal evaluation by the school headmaster and the students, they decided to scale up the program for the entire school, which I think has over 800 kids. So while we're here on this trip, we're going to retrofit the stinky pit latrines because uh, they don't want the latrines anymore and they want to switch to pit. What's your name? Mary Goretti. Mary, you got three names now. You told me two before. <laughs> the full one is Akelo Merigoret. Oh my god, now they're backwards. <laughs> and here's our compost guy. Steven from Uganda. Steven from Uganda. After we constructed the drainable pit latrines, yeah. uh, they worked for some time and there was no smell. After around six months, there was a filthy smell that could make children not like to use their toilet latrines again. So the organizations that we work are working with here did a pilot study, and I think this is, you know, almost a year old. And once the students decided for themselves they wanted to switch to compost toilets, we got approval to convert, um, get rid of the pit latrines. To convert this one in into compost, compost toilets. toilets. And, and these are the compost toilets they've been using, these metal buildings. Yeah, these were considered then, temporary structures. So it was like a pilot project, see how it worked. The kids liked them, and now they want to switch the whole thing to compost. Right. Okay, that's the pit latrine. It's pretty clean. Just for perspective. And it does smell, but they all smell. These pit latrines stink like hell. That's why we're trying to get rid of them. Not only do they stink, but they pollute the groundwater. The next revolution in human sanitation is composting. That's what we're teaching here. That's what these are, in fact. These are the compost toilets. So um, this is what they look like. And there's no smell at all. So directly behind these compost toilet stations are compost bins. They're just wire bins. There's cover material on the ground here. This is uh, loose grass, looks like. Uh, the toilet material is going into these wire bins covered with the loose grass. If you have compost toilets outside in outdoor buildings, like this, which you don't need to. The whole point of a compost toilet like this is that you can put it inside. It doesn't have to be out because there's no odor. But if you do have it out like this, put the compost bins close by and compost everything uh, very close to the, uh, the actual toilets. That minimizes transport and cost and labor. And it just makes it simpler. When you make a bin like this, dish the bottom of the dirt, dig the dirt down a couple, three inches, and throw all that loose dirt around the sides so that when the bin starts, you've got a bowl. If you ever get ex too much liquid in there from a torrential rain or something, it's going to stay underneath the compost pile and not, not seep out the bottom. And then this is cover material here so when you start a bin like this you should put uh, about a half a meter of uh, cover material in the bottom before you put any toilet material or any other kind of organic material in there uh, that just creates a cushion on the bottom a biological sponge I call it and then you're ready to start composting here's the cover material now this cover material is those are very large particles, and this stuff really 
they're keeping it in bags inside and that's a mistake they need to be this stuff needs to be out in the rain so it can become biologically activated and dampened bacteria have a hard time uh, consuming big particles of wood like this so it slows the compost down and it drops the temperature of the compost pile one way to help with that problem is to have this stuff out in the rain where it can get wet and biologically activated it can be out in the rain for months years it could be out there for 10 years it doesn't matter uh, as long as it uh, has some moisture to it and the bacteria can start to work on it in our homes let us promote our hygiene in our homes let us promote our All right, I just came into this uh, compost toilet at the police barracks school in northern Uganda. It's full. Uh, kids just came out of here. The kids are on a break and they're using these things. I'm going to see there's no lid there. I'm assuming this is the empty. Yes, this is the empty. So what we're going to do, that handle should be in the back so you can get it out easily. We're going to pull that one out. We're going to put the lid on it. We're going to put the empty in here handle in the back. And then we're going to stick a couple of scoops of cover material in there like this. Put the lid back down. Close it up. And there it is, all swapped out. These ones here can get, get set aside. That one's full, so it needs to be set aside somewhere where it can be composted later. This is an original pit latrine. This is Moroto, Uganda. What we're doing is we're retrofitting them. First off, we're plugging the holes. So here's one that's plugged. Uh, we crammed some uh, bricks in the hole so that the mortar would sit on there and then we mortared over top. So when you plug them like that, the odor is gone. This is the inside of a pit latrine. That sparkling is not, those are not stars, those are maggots squirming. Uh, it stinks like hell. It stinks like hell, and if you're wondering why there's flies on the kid, faces of the kids. Oh my god. Uh, every pit latrine in this country is breeding, breeding flies like there's no tomorrow. So our object is to get rid of the pit latrines and replace them with compost toilets. Oh my god, how they call this a solution, man? Yeah, it's time to phase out pit latrines. They're no, no longer... way. They're no longer something we need. This is the hole we plugged. We're sweeping it out. We're going to put the new loo in, see how it fits. There you go. Samuel. Excuse me. No, wait. Hey. <laughs> Here's the final setup. There's the loo with the receptacle, there's the spare. When that one's full, pull it out, put the lid on which is behind it. Slide it over there, take that lid off, put it in the back and slide the empty one in. And this is cover material and it's color coded. Green are the toilet receptacles, blue are the cover material. So this once was a pit latrine where you squatted in a hole there. Now. It's a nice, clean, odor-free toilet that does not pollute the groundwater, does not breed flies. It's much more pleasant. Uh, the only difference is this has to be managed, whereas the, t the um, pit latrine didn't. You come shit and walk away. This one here, somebody has to manage this whole system. But it's worth it, I think, because no odor, no flies, no pollution. 
and it produces compost, ecological. And um, in this day and age, that's what we should be teaching our kids. Hygiene is good, hygiene is good, let us promote hygiene is good, hygiene is good, let us promote. In our homes, let us promote hygiene, in our homes, let us promote hygiene. In our homes, let us promote hygiene, in our homes, let us promote hygiene. In our schools, let us promote hygiene, in our schools, let us promote hygiene. In our schools, let us promote hygiene.